If you go into a hospital for certain types of surgery, you have a one in five chance of contracting a serious infection, one that could require IV antibiotics, even a nursing home stay. But a local surgeon has discovered a very simple procedure using something you probably already have at home that could actually stop these infections and can literally save lives. It's so simple. It's a chi product, a cotton tip applicator. At Cedar sinai Medical Center, Dr. Shireen Tofai discovered magic in a cotton swab. Other doctors initially balked. They thought it was uh, very odd to stick something inside someone's wound. It would cause pain. Um, it won't really do anything. It's all voodoo. But Dr. Tofai's wound probing technique, just poking an incision site with a swab daily after surgery, resulted in a six-fold drop in infections. Other recent studies have shown teeth brushing, nail cleaning, and air filtering can also result in a major drop in infection risk. All right, joining us now, patient advocate Alicia Cole. Alicia nearly died from flesh-eating disease, a flesh-eating bacteria that she contracted when she had routine fibroid surgery. As a result, she endured years of painful surgeries, physical therapy, and now you're on a mission to, uh, to clean up hospitals and to protect you from going through the agony, everybody else from going through the agony that you went through. What Absolutely. Do you, what do Absolutely. you make of, of that sticking the cotton swab in the wound, how simple that is? Do you think it's a good thing? You know, it's a fabulous idea. I think it, it, it's a great idea, and I'm sorry that she's getting pushed back. And the sad part is that doctors like things that generate revenue, and they yeah. like playing with technology. So when you have a doctor who comes along and says, this is simple, we can do this. I know for a fact in my own case, my abdomen swole up. It was huge. Let me see the picture. What? Let me see the after. Okay, this is the after picture. Oh, we had that. We just had some video we of it. We had some yeah. video of me. This is my mom and dad were my patient advocates. That's this picture, yes. Look at that. Now, I had six abdominal surgeries where they strategically cut away my abdomen and my left butt cheek, and they went across oh my, my pubic area, and they were considering amputating my left leg. So, so... This is a really rampant problem. How many Americans die each year because of this? Well, over 100,000 Americans die. That's uh, Hospital-acquired infections are the fourth leading cause of death in America. That means more than breast cancer, AIDS, and traffic deaths combined. Fourth leading cause of death. All right, very quickly, I, I'm out of time. What should people do? Very simple things people should do if they know they're going to be going into a hospital. If you know you're going to be going in the hospital, become a fully engaged patient. Ask your doctor questions. Point blank ask him, what is his infection rate for that procedure and what is the infection rate of the hospital that you're going to? I co-sponsored a law. Okay. Uh, here in the state of California, hospitals now have to report their infection rates right. and that information will be placed on the public health website. Also, you want to uh, make sure you have a patient advocate with you at all times, whether it's a friend or a family member. It's like you're going into battle when you're going into a hospital. You are. You are. You are going into a danger zone. Our hospitals, unfortunately, are needlessly dirty. Uh. And... We're not adhering to the best practices and proven methods for reducing infection. Alicia Cole, thanks very much. That's did everybody, did everybody see the, uh, <laughs> That's the, the, before. the before picture? I just want to point that out. All right. If you want to reach out to Alicia Cole, you have a new reason to now that I've shown you this picture. Yeah. You, can, uh, you can find her online at patientsafety-asap.org.